Ian from Lean Media. I'm going to be talking about selling CDs on Amazon.com and actually some of the restrictions that have popped up in the past 20 years for people trying to sell music CDs on Amazon.com as an Amazon seller. If this video helps. Please take a moment to like it and follow me. And let's get started. So we're looking at a, a particular type of CD single, a CD from Radiohead. It was the Fake Plastic Trees UK Double, uh, double CD single. And you can see right now, you can buy it used on different sources like eBay for about $14 or even more than then, depending, I guess, on the condition or something like that. 20 years ago, I was actually selling these types of CDs on Amazon regularly um, using a feature called Z Shops. And you may remember this on Amazon a long time ago. If you went to a listing, it there would be like a little button below the listing would say something like have, have one to sell. And so you'd click on it and then you'd be prompted to fill in information about the item, like the condition. And then if somebody ordered it from Amazon, Amazon would notify you that, hey, uh, ship the CD single to the particular buyer and we'll, we'll, you know, we'll give you money for it. And basically what I was doing, this is the way retail arbitrage worked for me in 2003. I would go to the local music store. I'd go to their clearance bin and they actually had a separate bin for imported CDs. And I would find these great CDs that were selling for like a dollar or two dollars. Uh, people locally didn't want them, but I knew that there's probably somebody on Amazon who did want them, and indeed they did. So I would I would be selling these things regularly. I wasn't making a lot of money. It was just like a little bit of extra side money. Z Shops was a legitimate feature. It allowed ordinary people to do retail arbitrage. Amazon allowed it at the time. So I would list the price nine ninety five. When it was sold, Amazon would take a commission. They would also give me a shipping credit because they were shipping this thing uh, media mail. And at the time it was pretty cheap. It was, um, let's see here, $1.84 for two pound items, $1.42, $1.42 for one pound item. So this is for like books and CDs and DVDs. You could use this. And you can see at the end of the day, I got $9.31 for this particular item as a commission. So if you could do this at scale, you could actually do pretty well doing retail arbitrage on Amazon at that time. Now it's a different story. Music CDs, DVDs, uh, even some books are really pretty strictly regulated. And this started happening, I'd say five or six years ago. And you can see as part of our ongoing efforts to provide a great shopping experience, we are implementing selling qualifications for some products in the music and DVD categories. So what's going on right now is uh, Amazon doesn't want everybody selling used CDs, DVDs, and video games too. They specifically cite a higher risk of authenticity issues. And I can tell you for sure, I have purchased kind of uh, media in the form of discs that can be read by a computer. I thought it was something, it actually turned out to be pirated. Um, this was a video game, this was some years ago. But DVDs and CDs are easy to copy. I mean, at one time people had these machines in their house that allowed them to burn a new CD and then you could use a photocopy or something to create a cover. So this was part of the problem. And then the other issue was, I think people were selling new CDs that actually weren't new, they were used, they were scratched up. And so Amazon decided just to stop, they didn't wanna deal with these problems anymore. So they really restricted music and DV, uh, music from being sold by third party sellers. And indeed, I think the hammer came down about five or six years ago. So I'd say 2015, 2016, 2017. And you can see all of these old uh, discussion forum topics on the Amazon Seller Central discussion forums. Uh, restriction to sell CDs, how do people get approved, um, CD exemption, all of these things. And basically right now, if you wanna sell CDs or DVDs, you need to either be the publisher of that music or you need to be a legitimate authorized distributor. There may be other requirements as well. You need to go to Amazon Seller Central and figure out what the requirements are for, for each particular issue. So for instance, they say general application requirements include the following, primary sources of inventory. So 20 years ago in 2003, it was just a local music shop, Tower Records or whatever. Nope, you cannot do that. An estimate of the quantity of units you wanna sell, a minimum of one invoice from your largest inventory source that is representative of the types of products that you plan to sell. So they're asking for these questions. I think that they also wanna make sure that it is a distributor that is allowed to, uh, to, to resell these types of things. So they're cracking down on this. They've been doing it for more than five years. It's very unlikely you'll be able to resell a CD, a new CD that you have, either if it's lying around your house or you find it like in a Goodwill store or something like that, unless you are able to meet these requirements and perhaps other requirements as well.
because a lot of sellers have been trying to do it and they've been uh, shot down. So retail arbitrage for music is basically dead, even though at one time, 2003, uh, up till about, I'd say 2015, 2016, it was possible to do this. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Go to leemedia.org. That is my official blog. Click on blog or video. You can search for brand registry, Amazon policies, etc. And I like to share my own expertise as an experienced seller. I don't do retail arbitrage anymore. Uh, I actually have my own branded products on Amazon, but I have a lot of experience working with Amazon, and this is my story. Thank you so much for watching.